Hello there guys, welcome to your first preview on this new channel, Eunice Talks Football. I'm excited for this one and um, what a preview to begin with, hey. The champions, Liverpool, that's something I'd never thought I'd say, if, if I'm being completely honest with you. The champions, Liverpool. Wow. Sounds weird. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a really interesting game. Before we get into everything, I do want to um, send a little message to all of you that are watching. Um, first and foremost, thank you all so much for the messages and the comments that you have sent over the last 24 hours. It has been insane. Insane. And it's honestly, I, I knew I'd get positive feedback but i didn't expect that much and you guys have been absolutely tremendous so from the bottom of my heart thank you all so much i'm glad to be back i'm pumped to be back and it's nice to have a fresh new chapter with a brand new channel good to go let's do this let's smash it i'm motivated anyway i hope chelsea are motivated because tomorrow we play Liverpool at Anfield and there's one problem here. There's one dilemma which we won't know until kickoff. What Liverpool are going to show up? That's the key here because I, I can't say we've got a better team than Liverpool. We'll be honest, we don't. Okay, anyone that says we do is a bit too diehard. Okay, <laughs> and I would recommend that you relax a little bit and analyse the situation. Okay, Liverpool have a tremendous team. They, they, they've got everything. They're full, right? At full capacity. Have every single compartment, you know, on lock. And it took four or five years of work to do that. So fair play to Liverpool and congratulations to them. But with Chelsea, we're not there yet. I think we're doing it faster than Liverpool were. I think we're starting to get to a really nice place. And I'm really excited for next season and the new signings that are going to be coming in. But this game is weird because Liverpool are champions. But not just that. You look at their recent performances, Arsenal, Burnley, it's been super dodgy, right? And I think it's safe to say that, you know, Liverpool have been celebrating, they've been playing with hangovers, they've been taking it lightly. It's similar to when we won the title under Mourinho, 14-15, do you remember? And then we went to West Brom and got smashed 3-0 and we were still celebrating. You know, <laughs> even after the game, Mourinho came over to the fans and he was like, yes, yes, we got battered 3-0, let's have it. You know, uh, that's that's normal, it's normal. You, you, you let your guard down, you let loose a little bit and that's completely natural. It's just human nature. To be able to let go when you don't need to give 100% anymore. The thing is, Liverpool done that, right? Done it against Burnley, drew 1-1, looked a bit dodgy. Done it against Arsenal, even after going 1-0 up. They probably underestimated Arsenal and Arsenal just came at them. And dealt with them really effectively. Tomorrow, Liverpool lift the title and it's at Anfield. Fans are obviously not going to be in the ground, but I'm telling you, they're going to find thousands of fans outside of Anfield. That's just, you know, it's a, it's, it's a given. It's going to happen. So what Liverpool is going to show up? Is it the Liverpool where Klopp, because Klopp will tell them, look, we have to play. I don't care if we're going to lift the title today. I want us to win. I want us to get three points. We know Klopp is of that nature. And, you know, you when you're professional, you have to take that attitude. But as a player, that psychology... In the game, trust me, these players are not going to be 100% thinking on the football match. They are going to be thinking about the game, but they're also in their heads going to be thinking, oh, I can't wait to lift the title later. Oh my God, we've got what? They're going to look up at the scoreboard. Hey, we've got an hour left, lads. We're going to lift the title in one hour. Flip it. it. It's normal. That's normal. I hope that happens because if that happens, we have an opportunity to pounce. OK, we have an opportunity to exploit Liverpool whilst they lapse concentration. There is no way Liverpool are going to be concentrating on the game 100% for 90 minutes. So we have to be cautious. And this is where I believe we need to be brave. Right. I don't expect us to take the same approach as we did against Man United. Because at Man United, we were a little bit cautious. OK, we were a little bit... There were times we were sitting deep, waiting for the counter. I don't think you can take that against Liverpool. I don't think that's the right way to go. I think against Liverpool, we can possibly keep the same formation, but use it to our advantage. Some people are scared of going to a back three, like we did against Man United, because we went it, we, we did that against Tottenham, um, and then the next game, I believe, we got destroyed. Was that... Am I, am I right? 
something along those lines. I need to look back at that. But some people are scared that's going to happen again. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen again because we have our own motivation this time. If we win tomorrow, am I right in saying we've secured top four? I really should have checked that. <laughs> but I, I'm right, surely. If we win tomorrow, uh, well, it depends. If Leicester and United, you know, they, if any of them bottle it, which it seems like Leicester are, are on course to do. But you have to take into context the final game is Leicester versus Man United. So that's why if we win tomorrow, regardless of what happens in that final game between Leicester and Man United, we have the advantage because we got three points against Liverpool. So it gives us a nice, you know, easy day against Wolves, even if we don't win, should be okay. Um, so it's a big game tomorrow. It's in our hands. We beat Liverpool, top four is pretty much secured. And with the back three, when we did that against Man United... There was a big element of creating chances. If you look at that, we had control in the midfield. We had control on the flanks. There was a lot of chemistry and a lot of support from all players coming together. Um, flipping out. The sunlight has just completely gone. I hope all of you can still see me. Um, <laughs> anyway, the thing is, with that, with that formation against Man United... Um, it worked whilst we were sitting back. I can understand the fear of it possibly not working if we have to attack. But I genuinely believe it will work if we have to attack. That's why I'm super confident if we did keep that same formation, we do have what it takes to put the pressure on Liverpool. It's what Arsenal done. It's what teams before then have done. If you want to beat Liverpool, you don't sit back. I can see where the logic might be in that. If you sit back, then, you know, you can wait for the counter-attack. The problem is Liverpool have a very blistering attack. So if they come at you and you let them, they will score. <laughs> you know, they will put the ball in there. So you can't let that happen. And the best way to do that is to do what Pele said decades ago, is to turn attack into the best form of defence and just utilise everything that you have to just go at them. And we, that's why I'm saying we have to be brave. Now, in terms of... What team do we play tomorrow? I think we need to keep the same team that beat Man United. I am honestly in the in the element, in the mindset of don't change a winning team for this one. And we have to go all out. We haven't got many games left. We've got two games left and a cup final and then the Champions League, which is a friendly, let's be honest. But we have to keep that mindset of, you know, try and utilise what we have that's going for us. And the way we played against Man United was superb. So I think keep the same team. The one exception that I might consider is to play Pulisic instead of William. Um, and that's only due to fatigue. I think Mason Mount on that left-hand side provided a lot of energy against Man United. And we need energy against Liverpool. If we're going to take attacks to them... We need energy. We need non-stop running, you know, and Mason Mount is of that breed. So that's why I would play Mason tomorrow. And that's why I think keeping the same formation allows us to do that. Um, in terms of fatigue, though, Williams looking a bit shattered. If he's able to play, great. If he's not, play Pulisic on that right-hand side and let Mason Mount remain on that left. However, I'm not against playing William and Pulisic and leaving Mason Mount out or possibly bringing Mason into the midfield. I I'm totally cool with that because I do think tomorrow is a game for Mason. So um, that's what I would consider. N'Golo Kante is out, which is also a reason as to why I'm saying play a back three and keep the same team. Because it's just, it just the way that Jorginho and Kovacic worked in that midfield against Man United... There was a lot of dominance there. And if we can stop Liverpool from playing in between the lines and playing in the middle, we can do a lot of damage to them. Um, again, Olivier Giroud up front. No questions asked. Get the ball into the box. He's tall. He's big. He's going to have Van Dijk to deal with. But I'm confident he can do it. He's a strong lad. I think Giroud's clever enough to get around defenders. He has the experience to, 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 to persevere. Um, so I'm honestly thinking that is the best way to go. Um, there's a lot of debate as to who we should maybe play at the back. If we're playing of a back three, it's no question, again, just keep the same back three. Uh, I think they've done superb against United. When you look at Aspilicueta, 
I'm really surprised with Aspi because I really thought that decline was starting to kick in, but he somehow managed to restore himself. And um, he's he's a top lad. He's a top lad. Zuma was really effective against United, and Rudiger was a lot better than we've seen him in in past games. He's been reckless in the past few games, and it's nice to see him back at his best. So I'm hoping he can take that on board as well. Marcos Alonso. Again, another reason why I'm saying back three. Imagine if we went to a back four. Who's going to be playing left back? Alonso? I don't really want that. Aspilicueta? Mm, I think he's better at centre back. And when you're playing against Liverpool, you've got to deal with Salah. You've got to deal with Mane. You've got to deal with Firmino. I think you need more than four defenders. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think it's safe to say that Alonso and Reese James can do the running and the three centre-backs can be there just as insurance. So if any of them do make a mistake, we have a centre-back that's able to cover and we have a centre-back that can remain in the box to, you know, deter anything that may come in. I think it's just the best setup. If we go over back four, two centre-backs, I think we just leave ourselves open. I I'm just scared of that. And that's, that's my opinion. That's my gut feeling. That's why I'm just telling you exactly how I feel. I may be wrong. Don't take credit for what I'm saying and thinking that I'm speaking gospel. I'm not. I'm giving you my gut feeling and how I think we should just approach the game. We'll see what happens. But I honestly think it's going to come down to attitude and to concentration and to being brave. I think that is where the difference is going to be made. If we take the same mindset as we did against United and really be brave about taking on Liverpool, even if they are champions, who cares? That's the attitude we need to take. Who gives a damn? They're going to be lifting their title at the end of the day. We're not. So we need to try and make sure we beat them, give them something to think about and give them a reminder that maybe next season they may be warming that trophy up for us to take. So, you know, it's nice. I want to end with this. Mason Mount says he's going to watch Liverpool lift the title after the game. And he said he's going to use that as motivation for next season. He's going to really watch and concentrate and, you know, really soak it in when they lift that title in front of him and use that as motivation. I like that. I really like that. It shows me his hunger. And I think we all need to be hungry. And I think the players and the manager included, we don't need to speak for Lamps. Lamps is hungry. We know we know what he's like. I hope it reflects onto the onto the team and onto the players. Fingers crossed. Let's beat Liverpool and give them something to think about for next season. And hopefully we can nail top four. Let's do this, lads. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. How would you approach the game? Do you agree with me or disagree with me in terms of the back three and the back four? How do you think Liverpool are going to set up? Do you think they're going to be, you know, uh, walk in the park, let's celebrate? Or do you think they're going to be completely focused? Let me know what you think in the comments. It's a pleasure to get back to doing previews. I hope all of you have enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Check out my social media links in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow after it's all said and done. And hopefully we uh, commit another smash and grab at Anfield. Just like Denver Bar. Remember? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care and peace.